Anyways, what's up YouTube? I thought I'd make a quick video on all of the equipment that I have in my little backyard gym because a number of you have been asking me how much it costed to have everything that I have right now in my home gym. So I'm gonna be explaining to you guys every piece of equipment that I got along with the prices and why I chose to pick that certain equipment. So yeah. So the first piece of equipment in my gym is the T3 Power Rack with lat pull down tower combo from Titan Fitness. The total cost me $615.96. Now I get a lot of questions in regards to why I chose this rack in particular. So initially, this wasn't the rack I had decided on, but seeing how it came with a lap pull down attachment as well as a additional lower attachment, I decided it was the best bang for my buck. This was way more affordable compared to buying a standard rack and then investing on a totally separate lap pull down machine. Not to mention, it comes with free shipping and let me tell you guys, for any of you interested in investing in a home gym, shipping is insane. So take full advantage of any sales or equipment that ships for free. I used to do squats and bench on this rack, but now I mainly use this rack for squats and of course pull-ups, lap pull-downs, seated rows, all of that other good stuff. Next is the dip attachment, also from Titan Fitness. The total for this was $87.39. The reason I got the dip attachment was to include variety on my push days and I was simply tired of doing dips on a bench or chair. This also allows me to load on a lot more weight compared to doing weightless body weight dips. The last piece of equipment I got from Titan Fitness was the incline bench. Now before I got my actual bench setup, I used this bench for all of my pressing movements and it was honestly the cheapest adjustable bench I could find. The total for this bench was $109.96. I still use this bench for incline presses and pullovers, incline dumbbell press, flat dumbbell press, and so forth. All right, let's move on to the Rogue equipment. First will be the Rogue Westside Bench 2.0 with the Thompson Fat Pad. The total for this was $1,070.94. Now I know this wasn't really necessary for my gym, but I decided to ultimately splurge on this just because I've always wanted to use the Thompson Fat Pad, as well as increase my bench to another level. In addition, I used the safety bars to hold all of my belts, bands, and other miscellaneous items. And as you guys know, I recently dabbled into powerlifting, so obviously powerlifting is all about lifting as much weight as you can with the big three, squat, bench, deadlift. So I said why not, I'll invest in this bench right here. Also from Rogue are the Echo bumper plates. Now I wanted bumper plates mainly because of the lower risk of damaging the floor, bar, and plates, and I just think they're a lot safer in general. So I purchased four pairs of them for the price of $603.27. I also bought some calibrated steel plates from Rogue as well just because they're a lot more durable than basic bumper plates and they're a lot slimmer than regular plates so just in case in the future if I get extremely strong <laughs> anyways I can fit them onto the bar along with the bumper plates the reason I got these was because I already have four pairs of bumper plates that makes 405 pounds and if I wanted to increase my deadlifts I already deadlift more than four or five so I'm obviously gonna need more weights for progressive overload and stuff like that so th that's why I decided to purchase these calibrated plates. Also, they're great for Olympic weightlifting, so in case I want to dabble in that later on as well. So the total for the, all of the calibrated plates, the 25 kg, 20 kg, 15 kg, and 10 kg was $1,016.91. Now for the smaller plates, such as the 2.5s, 5s, and 10s, I just got them off of someone on Craigslist, and the total for all of them was about $30. Now to hold all of the plates I have, I purchased a vertical plate holder from Rogue and that was $187.50. I got the wheels also because that just made it much more convenient, much more portable um, just to move around. Okay, so next let's talk about the two barbells that I bought. The first one, they're both from Rogue. The first one is the Rogue Ohio Power Bar with black zinc and bright zinc finish. This came out to $408.26. Now, this was the first barbell I bought and this was the barbell that I use for all of my main movements until I purchased a row deadlift bar which obviously I've been doing deadlifts with. I do deadlifts with the Rogue deadlift bar and every other movement with the Rogue Ohio power bar and the Rogue deadlift bar was $402.84. Also keep in mind guys all the prices here include shipping unless I say so otherwise. 
I also decided to invest in a deadlift jack as I was just too fed up with having to lift the entire barbell up when it came to adding on and removing the weights. So this cost me $165. For my deadlift platform, I made it from scratch following a do-it-yourself YouTube video on how to make a cheap and portable deadlift platform. I'll post that in the description box if you guys want to check it out and are interested in making one for yourselves. The total cost me about $100 and what I like about this is that it's extremely convenient to move around and you're not limited to one area. For my dumbbells, I purchased adjustable dumbbells from a company called yes for all I ultimately decided on buying adjustable dumbbells because for me, I was on a budget trying to get everything that I needed at an affordable price. I didn't even have the money to buy all of the sets of dumbbells to have a full dumbbell set, so I figured these were just as good since I could adjust the weight on these and they range from 5 to 100 pounds. The total was $219.58. Now for the miscellaneous things, I have a boast ball, a kettlebell, some ab rollers, and some other adjustable pieces of equipment such as the tricep rope, v-bar, and curl bar, and the total for everything here was $200. Anyways, I hope you guys found that useful, especially those who are considering investing in a home gym recently. I hope this video was informative to you guys and that you guys took something away from this. And I hope this video also provided some additional information in regards to the prices of certain equipment as well as whether or not you really want to invest in a home gym. But yeah, if you guys found this video useful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and comment in the comment section below what you guys want to see for the next one. And until then, I'll catch you guys next time.